This video was made possible by Verve. Verve, made by the team over at Crunchyroll, is home to your favorite channels that give us all a chance to discover more content from creators we know and love. Use my link verve.co slash emirichu to get a limited time 30 day ad free trial of Verve Premium, which I'll talk about more at the end of the video, so stay tuned! This video is a continuation of my annoying anime tropes video. For this one, I decided to focus on six more annoying cliches, all of which I pulled from you guys in the comments in the first video. As I mentioned in the first video, these cliches don't necessarily make an anime bad, they just feel overused or predictable. Nothing wrong with enjoying some cliches. The power of friendship. We're all familiar with this cliché. You have the main protagonist in a long and intense battle with the villain, and they're losing badly and getting the crap beaten out of them, but in the last moment, they win with the indestructible power of friendship! <laughs> You're no match for my limitless power, foolish main characters. Ugh, it's no use. She's too strong. We've thrown everything we've got at her. No, we can't give up. We can still win this. I just have to remember who I'm fighting for. I can feel myself growing more powerful with the power of friendship. What? What? Are you kidding me? You're telling me you could have just conveniently whipped out your friendship power at any point in this 75 minute battle and we wouldn't have had to waste all this time and energy? One of our party members literally died during this fight! Uh, should I leave? The doormat heroine. She's cute, she's sweet, she's clumsy, she sees the best in everyone, and she's a doormat. I see this type of protagonist mostly in shoujo anime, and I get that she's supposed to be likable, but sometimes she's just annoyingly likable. This type of character seems to let everyone walk all over her until they learn to love her or until her love interest comes to the rescue. She's for some reason incapable of defending herself or just telling someone off when they're being rude to her. I can appreciate a cute, sweet, non-confrontational heroine, but sometimes I just want to see her throw some hands. The Accidental Pervert. Name a single hetero ecchi anime that doesn't do this. I'll wait. You know how this one goes. Guy walks in on girl changing and gets called a pervert. Guy accidentally falls on top of girl and gets called a pervert. Guy sees the wind lift a girl's dress and gets called a pervert. Guy accidentally touches girl's boob, gets called a pervert. It's fan service, but it's done so often I don't know how people get excited over it anymore. And for some reason, even if it's the other way around, the guy is still the pervert in the situation. The Love Triangle this cliché is of course not limited to anime, it's everywhere, but I'm including it in this list because of how often I see it in anime. I don't always have a problem with this trope, and I actually occasionally enjoy it, but only if the story revolves around the love triangle or if the love triangle is an important part of the story. It really annoys me otherwise when the story is really interesting and engaging, but then the plot has to come to a stop every so often for the unnecessary love triangle that feels shoehorned in. And usually it feels like the same formula. I'm just an average girl with an average life, but I have a problem. I have a crush on two boys at the same time! Hello. I'm the sophisticated, princely pretty boy that you fall in love with immediately. Sometimes I'm the childhood friend instead. But either way, I'm a good boy and will only treat you with kindness and respect, my princess. Ah, uh, he's so charming! I'm the hot bad boy that comes into your life after you meet boy number one. And you'll almost always pick me in the end, because my emotional baggage makes the fans go nuts over our interactions. I'm also probably a tsundere. He's so cool! The Thousand Year Old Lolly Guys, check it out! My gorgeous waifu in all her glory! Waifu? She looks like she's ten. What are you, a closet pedo? No, 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 she's actually a 5,000-year-old vampire! So it's okay for me to think that she's hot. 911, what's your emergency? Hi, yes, I'd like to report a- Hey, 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 hang on a second. The Beach Episode. 
This one doesn't actually bother me that much, but it is funny to see how often this anime cliche pops up for no apparent reason. Whether it's to fill in time between plot development episodes or just used as an excuse to cash in on some sweet, sweet fan service, the interactions are usually kind of predictable. Hello! Today, I will be showing you how to bake the perfect cliché beach episode. First, you'll need to throw in lots of cute swimwear for your female characters, and to make sure they're marketable enough to make your target audience throw money at figurines. Next, you'll need to add a cup of juicy sexual tension, one whole watermelon, a beach ball, some fireworks, a heaping spoonful of comedic relief, and just a dash of drama. Bake it in the oven for 20 minutes, and there you have it! Oh, and make sure your lewdest character is, like, extra lewd. Trust me on this one. If you dislike any of these cliches, or hey, even if you enjoy them, there's a variety of shows and channels to choose from on Verve, where you're likely to find all of them. I recently finished watching Konosuba, and it's easily one of my favorite shows. If you enjoy fantasy and comedy, I highly recommend it. This winter, they've added the Mamoru Hosoda collection, which features Summer Wars, The Girl Who Leapt Through Time, Wolf Children, and The Boy and the Beast, all of which I also highly recommend. Seriously. Use my link verve.co slash emirichu to get a limited time 30-day ad-free trial of Verve Premium, which grants you unlimited access to 12 channels on all your favorite devices, and the team at Verve is excited to announce that offline viewing is available to premium members, so you don't need to deal with spotty Wi-Fi or data overcharges on your phone. Let me know what you've been watching lately, and since I asked for your least favorite cliches last time, let me know your favorite cliches in the comments. Thank you to my patrons, and a huge thank you to Connor, aka Dog VA, for providing his lovely voice for all the male characters in this video. He sent them over while he was on vacation, so I'm very grateful for his help. See you next time!